Yo, Potiomaniacs, and welcome back yet again to what is very much the home stretch of this here video game. We have three days remaining. We have one thing cooking. We're really just aging what remains and trying to make best friends with everybody. Just for Grimoth, we're going to go and look at the slimes. There they are. Behold, they're gorgeous. Now we're going to go out and travel. We also get to see one of Grimoth's favorite loading screens and another one probably soon. All right. We gave you the thing. None of these 570 loading screens are my favorite loading screen. We'll have to get more. This game does not need more. All right. But what it does need is you to expand the shop. Otherwise, you know, we, we're, you're, I need a completion percentage printout game. I know. I don't even know where we're missing stuff from. That's the real, the real problem. Let's just go ahead and get on with this ranking up here with our good friend Quinn. Yeah, you should stick around, but if you try to hug me at the end of this interaction, I'm going to spy on you. So, did you get the potion? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if giving stuff away for free is a great business model, Sylvia. Not that that stopped you from doing it almost every day of the past 50 days. You know what the best business model is, Quinn? Winning! <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind reaping the benefits, I guess. Uh, you've given me a lot to eat. And this combo you came up with could be just the thing to give my powers a boost. That's the idea. The range is just half the problem. The other is precision. And I think I figured something out that can help me with that. Here's the thing. Clairvoyance is sort of a catch-all term. Covers a range of abilities. There's a spectrum of clairvoyance viewers at home. I'm thinking my deal is, more accurately, telemetry. It relies on associations between an item and a place or person. I know about this from Toho. Uh-huh. And this Toho, is they in the room with us right now? No, I don't think Nazrin is in the room with us right now. That's unfortunate. Anyway, so it's not entirely random then. Right. I eat squid vine. I see the mer person who harvested it. I start washing stuff down with your potions. I see you. And now, I've just got my hands with some grapes. The same variety my parents grow. So I'll see the per the people who grew the grapes. So if you will be my parents, it seems like a stretch. So if they somehow made these grapes, or grew these grapes, you'll get a glimpse of those pears, huh? It's a theory anyway. Hopefully they have an association of me. There's only one way to test it. Bottoms up, down the hatch. Yum, 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 yum. So you're gonna do it right now in front of God and country? Well, here on top of this roof. That is your shop. I mean, may as well, you... You want to stick around? Man, I got nothing bad to do. I got my potion stud. Sure, of course. Cool. Here it goes. Oh. I see. I see them. It's working. I. Wow. What do you see? I see my mother. Her hair is shorter, but it's definitely her. She's having a cocktail. My father is grooming the ferret. That's a euphemism. <laughs> They're just... living their lives. As if nothing were wrong. As if their only child hadn't run the heck away from them. I'm glad that's a euphemism. My, <laughs> my father, he's fluffing his Garfield. <laughs> okay, Quinn. I I'm sorry. That really stinks. I know... You must have hoped. I mean, what can I do? Are you okay? Say something! I just want to pause and look at Sylvia's face here. <laughs> Meh. To be honest, I expected this. Well, you must be disappointed, though. Yeah. Yeah, of course I am. But this is who they are, Sylvia. Who they've always been. And it's not me who needs to change. 
I have days where I forget that. Bad days where I get caught up in wishful thinking. But the bad days... aren't so badly. Because I've got you now, and you're plenty of bad. Too much, sometimes. Don't ever change, Squidipper. I mean it. I don't plan on it. But it's kind of alright being out of my comfort zone sometimes. I'm glad I didn't push you away. Glad you gave me all this free stuff. I mean, and I tried to push you away. You're stupid stubborn, Sylvia. Dummy thick. Yeah, I hear that. I just had a feeling that we'd make a good team. You extruding ingredients from who knows where. I also had a feeling that we would be really, <laughs> we would both be really truly excellent at hugging. You've gone too far, Sylvia. <laughs> yeah, friend, <laughs> friendship level minimum. Good day. I, I love the, it's just fucking ranked down. I'm quickly rethinking my don't push her away stance. Sorry, Quinn, this is happening. We're gonna get a thumbnail. Oh, what the hell? Err. Another closer. It. <laughs> so many closers in these. Uh huh. Just races to the next level. Nor's customer shield. Close sale. All right. So you gain whatever interest gulf or like gap there is to get to the next level, bypassing all shield and obviously whatever like protection like buffs they have, and then in the sale. That's pretty strong if they are really, really stupid when it comes to, you know, whatever interest is required. You've reached the maximum relationship level, Quinn. Congratulations. Alright, so we're done with you. Officer's obviously happy to see you. Very grateful about the teeth cleaning yesterday. You think he, you think he would be grateful? Being, you know, an animal and all. Smell you later. Our mimic mimics animals. Looking forward to spying on you tonight. Uh huh. I'm super excited. I'm ready to juice up a man of coffee. Okay, so you're ready to rank up again. Good. Have a great day. And then this bitch, are you ready to at least give us your potion recipe? Christ. My basement is your basement. <laughs> are you just broken? <laughs> It feels like everyone's ranked up like a billion times. I have been shoving mana in mana and spider asses into you. Maybe Pers I have higher standards. I'm not one of them Philistines. Uh-huh. Listen, we're already good with Baptiste, and you're not a hoitier or toitier than him. Good day, madam. Ah. Uh. And we're just going to go ahead and slather you with something, because we're already making your thing, but we can always get you front-loaded with more rank-up juice. There you go. Rock on, bitch. All right, and then you, Mr. Mushroom Man. You must strive to be worthy of my mushroom. <laughs> or so it is said. I mean, it could be. We'll find out. I could rank up with you. I'm going to go out and... Yeah, we might as well rank up with you, actually. Fuck it. Chuck it. Potion ball. I always have time for you, especially on caffeine. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm glad to see you even more than usual. <laughs> well, it's those warm welcomes that keep me coming back. Well, I hope you still feel that way after I ask you for a favor. Tell me something. Have you done your finger stretches today? Nope. Guess I've got 85 birthday cards to sign, and I'll bet you could forge my signature pretty convincingly. It's actually just a squiggly line. Luna props up a stack of 85 birthday cards. They feature an image of the Bay's infamous statue of Maven. I bet this brightens your siblings' day. I bet it makes them shriek. I chose this particular image for a reason. Growing up, our parents used Maven as their own personal boogeyman. Luna, you better clean your room, slash finish your dinner, slash ace that test, or Maven will come and take you away to her island. It probably blows their minds that I moved to that very island of my own free will. 
I'll terrorize my children. Click, 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 Of course. Luna begins gracing every card with a slapdash, but impressively consistent signature. I'm not sure why that hyphen was down there, but whatever. It can be down there, stylistic choices. Sylvia commits it to memory and then pitches in. I appreciate the help. We're all from the same clutch, so birthdays can be a lot. Does that mean that your birthday is coming up? I mean, why else would you give someone a birthday card for your birthday? Not for a couple of months, but the mail to the mainland is so super slow, and I don't want these to be late. So I'm thanking them all for, you know, my birthday stuff they're going to be sending me in advance. <laughs> Lethal looks at camera. <laughs> Remember when things used to take four to six weeks in mail order, and now we can get the same fucking day? I usually just work on my birthday, but maybe we can do something fun this year, like uh, go to the ice cream parlor. It's awfully nice having a friend in town. It makes me happy. See, this is me happy. I'm happy, totally happy. I especially like having someone around to help me forget about work for a little while. This is me forgetting about work. Wait, really? I thought you liked thinking about work. You're like totally a workaholic. That's the old me. I'm adopting the new me in advance of my birthday, too. Uh-huh. I mean, generally, but my new client, the one I told you about in a vague and mysterious fashion? Yeah, it was all very foreboding. He is kind of a... Oh, wow, that face from Luna. She is kind of a lot. Oh, well, who is it? I promise not to tell anyone. Technically, I'm still bound by a non-disclosure agreement. I can't name any names. But there are some loopholes in the agreement, and I know you're trustworthy. I'll tell you this much. The client is a celebrity on the mainland. She's royalty, in fact. It better not be a newbie or something stupid. Mm. All right, tell me more with your NDA. Do royals need publicists? Do they ever? I mean, if you think about it, their authority sort of relies on selling people a certain image. I thought it was... I thought it was, you know... Divine right, damn. Noble bloodlines, grace, taste, and wisdom. A self-evident right to rule. Royals are constantly selling a narrative. It's true. She is doing PR. It's more than marketing here. Looks over at the United Kingdom. Nods mm -hmm. gravely. And if word gets out that a certain spoiled princess is ill-suited to choose breakfast, much less the course of a kingdom. Well, that's when her subjects start asking uncomfortable questions about the line of succession. Some of them might even go a little hoop coop, if you know what I mean. I've <laughs> a little cuckoo. Okay, got it, got it. I, I, I'm, I'm half tempted to ask you to just skip the rest of this conversation because I've never heard the phrase coop coop before, and I'm, it's, I'm having rage flashbacks to last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we had some cuckoo moments here at uh, Grimmith and Lethal Incorporated. It sounds like important work either way. You're basically a kingmaker. <laughs> Which, by the way, until the rage has started coming back, I had forgotten that apparently you're not allowed to put toppings on ice cream and only yogurt. <laughs> I forgot about that too. In this, this headspace is back. <laughs> oh, nope. I don't know. Mostly I'm drafting social media posts about what she's eating for breakfast. You save that rage for when we talk to Zid next. <laughs> but if I make it through this trial period, it'll pay well. That's something. I mean... You can tough it out. You can tough it out? The only way is through, remember? That's right. You know me. I can handle the stress, 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 stress. Just like gas, gas, gas. And the benefits of this situation potentially outweigh any negatives. To me, there's nothing better than amplifying worthy voices and ideas. I love giving the little guy a platform, even when the little guy's actually a snobbish, spoiled royal princess. I know. I was just saying, uh, didn't that just, like, completely just fly in the face of what you were just talking about? <laughs> but the little guy doesn't tend to have a robust marketing budget. Yeah. Working with a larger client could be a hassle. But taking their money lets me offer affordable services to smaller clients. That's why I can offer you a discount. As long as I can juggle the demands of my time, I can make everybody happy. That includes my parents. I know it's not supposed to care what they think. I know we talked about this before, but I can't help caring a little bit, and they were thrilled by this news. Sylvia, like, seriously over the moon. 
They still don't go to a marketer publicist. Publicist does. But working for a princess, they wrap their heads around that super quick. I see what you mean, and I'm happy that your parents are happy for you. Thanks. And just to prove all that help the little guy stuff is more than just talk. Looks like camera's gonna be a coupon. I have a whole new coupon for you. <laughs> for all the shop running that you do. <laughs> because the services synergize off of selling potions, which you obviously do, especially when you plan them a day in advance that you're gonna be selling them. Careful or you'll spoil me because I'm totally gonna I'm totally gonna use this, yep. Don't even joke about it. One diva on my client list is more than enough. But as far as I'm concerned, you're the one who deserves the royal treatment. I thought we were stopping with the flirting. I'm getting you back. Haha! -ha. You're awesome, Sylvia. And that's a message I'm happy to promote totally free of charge. Look at all this mana you gave me. I'm so fucking high right now. Yeah, that will happen. Can't all right. Have time for you, except when I don't have time for you. Anyway, you want to stay with me? Have a cup. Want to have a cup? I have all all kinds of infederate. Huh? You've done more than enough, really. But if you still want to stay, have a drink. I'm thinking about it. Calm down, you. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. All right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be super better than ever. Yep. I'm totally paying just, attention to this just, interaction just, right now while I look at my phone. Then back to you. Just, just, just cut it out. I'm going. We're gonna go. Back at my phone. Then back to you. Have a great day. Okay, I'm gonna be full on my phone now. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. These kids. <laughs> anyway. The brew is complete. The brew complete. Master work. Master of works. Hell yeah. yeah. There you go. Enjoy. This is how much we care, Zid. We're giving you the rank 10 shit. Or the rank 10, the masterwork shit. For the rank 10. Alright. Will that happen? <laughs> we'll find out soon. Lethal, determined to make it happen. Goes to just hang out. I guess we're just hanging out. Alright. <laughs> Wanna read some fan mail? Let's go ahead and do one of these and see if it goes up. Let's put a unique spin on this. They travel to the beach, where most townsfolk give the Kraken Skull wide berth, as if it might be cursed. Zid, however, walks right up to the skull and, well, throws the picnic blanket out on top of the damn thing. Doesn't okay, give a fuck. You're not walking right up to it, you're climbing on top of it. It's different, game. It's there's, a, there's a lot of sand around it. It's kind of submerged. No, no it definitely <laughs> looms over the landscape. I would know, because we keep seeing it! <laughs> there's a nice, there's a nice like uh, a scaffolding that takes you up to the top. Either way, she's packed a delightful assortment of cheeses and fruits, and a generous slices of cake. She's liberated from the guild hall because they have is cake. Cake allowed to have toppings? No, no, it is not. It's unusual. Only the pie is allowed to have toppings. <laughs> <laughs> a pie with toppings. I suppose there are pies with toppings. It's unusual as picnics go, but it just means there'll be a memorable picnic. Pretty sure I get a bone shard in my butt, but worth it. They are closer and less stressed. Are they close enough to level up, goddammit? No. Go fuck yourself, dot com. All right. Well, if that's the case, we're going to hang out again. We can only hang out once. Good day, sir. All right, we'll hang out with you then. Said good day, sir, to Zed. Wow, way to misgender Zed. That's why you're not ranked 10. Let's hang out with your butt. Card games. Card game. I can spare time for a game or two. Roxanne produces a deck of cards from somewhere, which she shuffles in an effortless and intimidating display of dexterity. She grins at Sylvia as she deals. There's something wolf-like in that grin. Although Roxanne promises to go easy on her, Sylvia is clearly out of her league. Here. Why don't I give you some pointers? It's not so much about the luck of the draw. It's about drawing from the bottom of the deck. It's not more about how many aces you can hide in your clothes. Around your breasts, your bosom. Your boobies. Titties. Yes, yes, fun bags and all that. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, singular tom. And in your hat. 
Robin is playing for keeps, but so are we. Keeps. 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 Keep to Keeps. win. <laughs> Keep. <laughs> win. Exemptions may apply. All right. Professional customers. The end is nigh. Will you be ready for your showdown? Tell me you will be. Listen, if you're going to talk about that, you're going outside with... Oh, woman, you never run the shop. Ah. Listen, just get outside with your combo inside, all right? I'm done with you. <laughs> all right, let's travel outside. We might as well save. All these slots. Slots, slots. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> save the game now. Slots, 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 slots. <laughs> The viewers love us. <laughs> they don't. Why are they? Why are they here? All right, you mana in your buttocks now. Flip the bone. Pitch perfect. <laughs> it just blinks at me. I blink the camera. Fuck you. <laughs> don't be a stranger. This is what you get for not giving me two star things sooner in the game. I guess. Oh, now you're ready. All right. Well, let's front, front load you with this. I've been very well behaved. I I will be there for a sec. Ready when you are. I'm ready. Grand. All set for our study lesson. I got the flashcards. And I've got the snacks. Although I'm afraid you'll have to sign a waiver first. Some of these snack peppers are hot enough to scald your tongue. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with these pretzels over here. Oh, should I have not rub the, the the peppers on the pretzels? No, you probably shouldn't have if they're for everybody. <laughs> Flash cards in hand, Sylvia begins quizzing Roxanne on the finer points of business administration. She gets more answers wrong than she gets right, and she is very, very pouty about it. And rather than accepting that, she tends to argue and be argumentative. As if the wrong answer could be made right if she just disagrees passionately enough. Ugh. This is pointless. You'll get the hang of it. No. I mean, there's no point in doing this. I already know I'm going to ace this exam. There's no doubt about that. Uh... I'm pressing X as hard as I can, dog. No doubt. <laughs> well, that's a bit ominous. I've had enough, Sylvia. For too long have I languished on the surface world, shackled by the rules of polite society. I'm going to cheat. Oh, I thought you were just going to go batshit in the exam hall. <laughs> now, at last, I have the upper hand. <laughs> Yes, come. Let us fight. I forgot how much you enjoy playing the villain. Morpheus. It's positively thrilling. But I'm not just role-playing here. I've got gossip. The hot goss. Hot, juicy, damaging gossip. The sort of person might pay to make go away like someone in position to have me pass the exam. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you're talking about... Blackmail. Oh, is, is it about my story? Because I'm really not that embarrassed. I have the sleep uh, apnea. You think, no, I wouldn't dream of fleecing you. I mean... What would I even get out of you? Loose change and pocket lint? I have like 20 G's in my pocket right now, bitch. <laughs> Goes to pickpocket. <laughs> Goes to Sylvia. <laughs> ha ha. Listen, I didn't go looking for trouble, not this time. It just happened to fall on my bosom. Uh-huh. But I was naturally curious about the identity of the man who will be proctoring my exam. I thought I'd wear his favorite perfume, perhaps, or the colors of his favorite sports team, you know, grid ball. Just a little something to nudge his perception of me in a positive direction. I'm not sure that'll help with the totally objective multiple choice test, but okay. Imagine my surprise, however, when I realized I recognized the man. 
I'd seen him once before. Oh, no, it's not going to be that one guy she was helping before, is it? Among the revelers at a pirate jamboree. Okay, it may not be him. He must have made quite an impression. You could say that. He was thrown overboard midway through the party, in fact. After he was caught pawing through a litter box. Some people claimed he'd simply dropped his keys. Others believed he was deep in his cups and looking for buried doubloons. The outcome was the same. His actions were declared an irredeemable party foul. He was forced to walk the plank before he could stink up the place. I photoglyphed the whole thing. And I can't imagine he'd want those images to be posted anywhere. I'm picturing this photograph thing like they just have a, a slate and they're chiseling the slate as it's happening. All this to say, I have a trump card. And now I only have to decide whether they use it. <laughs> oh my kidding, I will! I mean, you're better than... She really isn't. <laughs> Use every advantage you can, knowledge is power! Really? I was sure you'd object. Now the other thing said you were better than that, and that is plainly incorrect. Hey, it's tough out there. You and I are in no position to pass up an edge. I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. Yeah. Either that, or I'm having an outsized influence over your moral character. I'm not sure I like either possibility. Really? I thought you loved the idea of corrupting my ass. Maybe a little. However... Listen. I needed you to say the other things, because I would have liked that more. Lately, I've grown increasingly uncomfortable with shortcuts. I take the long way. That's due in no small part to your influence. More than once, when faced with a moral conundrum, I found myself asking... What would Sylvia think? Hmm. And then yeah. I realized, you don't think. You're goddamn right. I mean, it sounds like you're developing a conscience. You know the right thing to do. It's just easier for you to, <laughs> to do it when you can blame it on me. A conscious conscience and a psycho... Okay, so I'm confused there, like... Changing, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. A conscience and a psychoanalyst all in once. Eh. You're a perfectly rotten influence, Sylvia. And by that you mean I'm a good influence, right? Call it what you like, it's aggravating. You have such an innocent demeanor, but you certainly know how to deploy your charm to get what you want. Turn that magnetic sway onto your customers, that you don't have anymore because you'll never need to run the shop again. I think you'll like the results. Magnetism. Two turns. Ooh, two of them. That's pretty good interest. All right. I like that particular card, too. Making the heart there. Swirls with love magic energy. <laughs> yes, love magic energy. Uh, thanks. Now, I sh uh, should we get back to studying? Perhaps later. I have some machinations to ponder. There's no time for studying. And it's much easier to be wicked when you're not around. Roxanne! You know, you're in a relationship already. Here we go with the potions again. We gotta set it up. Roxanne is throwing to watch the straight and narrow. I should find a way to show support to her new lease on life. Because you haven't shown support. Well, I, we do mm. have a radiation tonic and curse cure. All right, let me see if I have some in back. We'll probably insert those in here tomorrow, probably. Okay, so... My basement is your basement. Mm-hmm. Done with you, done with you, done with you. Still working on you. You fools are all done. Kitty box! For you. Buy a loot crate! Meow! I guess I could buy a loot crate. How much money I got? Yeah, I can definitely buy a loot crate. We already gifted your butt, so we'll have to hang out with you. But we'll go to the cats. So we can listen to the music and get a, uh, a loot box. A loot box. Yeah. A trichrome. That's how they say loot box and cat. Yeah, meow, 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 me
Dragon Egg Citrus, of course. And there's more Nuclear Shadows. Anything else cool in here? More Arcane Quartz. Alright, fantastic. Well, it was great seeing you both. I'm out of here. Uh, we could hang out with you. Try to level you up and then maybe try to get done with Roxy tomorrow, I think, before the competition. Eh? Yeah. But we can do that next time, alright? Because we, we're at 30 minutes. Meow. So we'll see you then. For more hanging out, more thumbnails, more ranking up. Ta-ta.